Hello, welcome to Deeper Rock. This is Pastor Scott Cruz. I want to thank you for checking it out. Today we are in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 1 through 32. I hope you read that and, and explore that with the Lord uh, today. But a couple of things I want to draw. First of all, it starts off, verse 1, as a prisoner for the Lord. I then urge you. Now this week we are in Galatians chapter 5, where it said we have absolute freedom in Christ and we don't want to abuse that freedom. Here is the incredible paradox that we find in God's Word. Paul, he's a prisoner, yet he's completely free. And maybe you can get your head around this today. Maybe you can't. Sometimes I can. Sometimes I can't. But in God's kingdom, true freedom comes when I am completely His. True freedom comes when I'm, I am a prisoner, a slave of Jesus Christ. It says in some translations in this verse. That is when I am truly free. And then he goes on to say, be humble, be gentle, be patient, and bear each other up in love. I need to be humble to think of, to know the, how small I am and how big my God is. That is another incredible paradox in God's Word and that is that when I'm truly humble and know how small I am, then He can be everything in my life. So in myself I can't do anything, but with my God behind me there is nothing that I can't do. That's exciting stuff. Be gentle. I'm going to put as, as little pressure as I can on situations to bring the results that need to be brought. And I want to encourage you today that if you have an opportunity to deal with something with a lot of power or, or gently, deal with it gently. And that's how God deals with us. His hand is gentle but firm. That's how God is. Be patient. It is so hard to be patient so much of the time. But so much of God's wisdom that we find in His Word is to endure Hardship for a little while so we can experience something good later on. Be patient and bear each other up with love. And, you know, it, when we put others first, when we live our lives for other people, to, to honor them more than ourselves, to bless them, then we're really blessed. It is so neat that when we give, we get. We can't outgive God, whether it's with our money, whether it's our time, whether it's with our passion. You just can't do it. So I want to encourage you today. To bear up the people around you with love, even if they don't deserve it. Sometimes especially they don't deserve it because really none of us deserve it. We are all sinners. We fall away. And by the grace of God go I. And every time that I, I, I am tempted not to bear somebody up, not to be kind, not to be giving, not to be generous... That's not Christ-like, and I want to be like Jesus. So I want to encourage you today to bear up the people around you. Let every person you encounter today have a better day because they had the privilege of encountering you. And have that in your head. I want to make their day better. Hope you have a great today, and I hope to see you in church on Sunday. Lord bless you.